Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Nathan from my Crypto Paradise. In this video we will look at BZX protocol with the abbreviation of BZRX. We will look at multiple charts against the dollar and we will look at the chart against the Bitcoin. But what is happening right now it is very very important to know because what we had is the massive pullback across the board on multiple currencies and price cleanly bounced of the 88.6% FIBS. And we know this level is very important across the cryptocurrencies because it indicates the bottom in the market. So whether this is the bottom and we will see a massive growth potentially towards the top of the channel or there will be further pullback to the previously made support. In this video, we will look and discuss the most probable scenario in the coming weeks. So this will not be an overview of the next couple of days, but the big picture and how far the price might be going. Because if we look at the overall chart, we can see that the price is very close to the bottom. This is the coin which is lagging behind so much. And what is most important, this is another DeFi project. And we know how DeFi performed this year. And the question is, will the price drop another 70% or we will actually see a growth of nearly 800%. Before we dive into that, let's move to the coin market cap. The BZX protocol is ranked number 374. With the total market cap, just, just think about it, $75 million. We used to get billions in market cap, at least for the top 100, there are billions. And here we just have 75 million, which makes it a very, very small market cap for a huge DeFi project. Also, if we look at the competitors, well, at least by the rank, we see that seven day growth was nearly 20%. And looking by others, well, we are actually one of the top gainers because we had only 20 and 29%. Other coins actually are either in red or had a small growth. So is the interest starting to grow for the BZX protocol? So let's go to the coin360 and we can see that the Bitcoin is still struggling to recover. Today the loss is over 1%, Ethereum 0.64%, but the rest of the coins do look green. And speaking about the Bitcoin, just wanted to share with you our latest trade that we had. So this was the setup, almost perfect entry already out of this trade. It lasted only 4 hours 20 minutes, so we actually managed to capture this local bottom and already fixed the profit for the Bitcoin trade. And another interesting trade we had is for the link, which is the top token in the Ethereum space. This is the actual setup that we had. As you can see, we have entered the market not at the bottom, although we survived this pullback, then price went up and tested target once. So this is already a risk-free trade and just look at the price action. Previous resistance has been acting as the support, which means that there is huge upside potential. Well, having shared these excellent results with you, let's move to the BZRX. So this is the daily time frame. And guys, we saw this bounce of the 88.6 FIPS after we had this massive, massive resistance formed and huge pullback. The big question, is that a huge buying opportunity, a long-term buying opportunity? Because not only the FIPS were rejected, but also the bottom of the channel, which is the extended ascending channel. So there were two bounces, two supports at the same time were rejected. This is a really, really good news for the BZRX against the USDT. Now, if we move to the standard chart, also daily, previous was the logarithmic one, we can see that here at this point, which is back in March, price rejected the 200 simple moving average. Now, this level, the bottom of this correction hasn't been broken because we had this huge daily candle to the downside, but it failed to close below this support, which implies that the buyers are still in control. I mean, the long term buyers. Obviously, there was a lot of selling pressure, which did result in a 85% price decline. But we must also consider that there was the bounce 
of the previously made support and we had a bounce of the form back in December 2020. Two support areas were rejected, but now price is facing this level and it could be acting as the resistance. But will the price breaks higher and reaches one of the key resistance? For example, we have nearest strong resistance at 0.81 dollars which corresponds obviously to the previously formed supply area now if broken we might see further growth towards this resistance area near one dollar which is a strong psychological level but at the end if all of them will be penetrated we might be seeing a price increase towards 1.77 dollars from the current price this is 440 percent now this level is very important because it corresponds to two fibonacci retracement levels first fibs was applied to this pullback after price bottomed out and another fibs was applied to the current corrective move down and what we have is 161.8 fibs and 727.2 fibs almost at the same price 440 percent growth potential but it is too early to say that with confidence because we need to break all the resistances in order for the price to rise towards this area now also i wanted to show you that this area corresponds to the resistance uptrend trend line and if we apply a fibonacci cycle indicator to these two highs what we can see is that one cycle is that cycle number two has started right there which resulted in this pullback then we have cycle number three corresponding actually to the resistance area as well as the resistance trend line and this means that by august price might actually reach 1.8 dollar resistance area well not everything is so good and perfect in terms of the buying opportunity right now so if we look at the 16 hour chart we can see that this is the average price downtrend trend line and we had the bounce of this resistance as well as the previously formed resistance area so there were a lot of buying and selling pressure previously and right now in order to confirm that we are moving higher we obviously need to break this resistance at 0.4 dollars only then we can expect further price increase towards 0.56 dollars now you might ask why is this level is important well first of all this is the previous support and demand area we could see a lot of volatility a lot of buying pressure right there besides we have two fibs at this price 38.2 and 50 percent fibs one of them was applied to this move down and another fibs was applied to the overall wave to an upside now if broken price will travel towards the next resistance and only upon the break above the 1.2 resistance area we might be expecting the growth towards 1.8 dollars but before that before we break above this resistance price easily can be consolidating and even moving lower so the previous support is at 0.14 dollars which can be tested as long as this resistance holds price also might be retesting this support area which is near 88.6 percent fibs also another extremely important support area and these scenarios cannot be ignored only upon the break above this resistance we might be expecting further growth and continuation of the major long-term uptrend now by looking at the six hour chart we have 200 simple moving average why 200 simple is because we have multiple clean bounces of the moving average so one two three and now we actually managed to break and close above the moving average this is the first bullish sign for the bzrx besides at this bottom where the 88.6 fibs were rejected the macd produced a bullish divergence which means that while the price produced a new lower low the macd produced a new higher low this indicates that the market could have started to reverse to the upside but as i said already this is too early to take action 
big players will be waiting for the confirmation for the break above this resistance area break above the downtrend trend line and only then on the pullback the perfect opportunity might be presented in that case obviously we have multiple resistances to watch prior to the final target at 1.78 dollars all in all buying pressure is likely to increase because of this break above the moving average if we move to the one hour chart another interesting picture appears first we obviously have this triangle the consolidation triangle which has been forming since may 19th after the price collapsed across the board on all cryptocurrencies and for the price to start rising we need to break out this box we need to break above the triangle now this box is formed by two fibs the fibs was applied to the overall move to the downside where we have two levels 38.2 and 61.8 and how precisely price bounced off the resistance and of the support at the same time we had a very nice bounce of the 50 simple moving average at the same time we had a bounce of a simple uptrend trend line yet again price favors the continuation of the long-term bullish trend at this point but the confirmation we need to break above this resistance above the trend line this will be the second strong sign that the price is ready to move higher but after the breakout we might be seeing some consolidation prior to the rise but if price will remain below this resistance we might be seeing either a consolidation within this box or even break lower to retest the bottom of the triangle and only upon the daily break and close of this low at 0.25 dollars this will be a bad news for the bzrx because we are likely to retest 88.6 fib support and potentially move even lower towards 1.4 dollar support area but the thing is there are more bullish indications rather than bearish at this specific moment obviously we need to watch out break below the support or break above the resistance and finally bzrx against the bitcoin the range trading has been going on since november 2020 the support and resistance areas were formed the very big thing for the bzrx against the bitcoin is that we had the bounce of the bottom of the range at the same time previous support has been respected because there was no daily break and close below we had this spike but in order to confirm the break below we had to have a daily break and close below the spike and besides we can see that this support is being respected a couple of days ago there was this bounce daily close remained above so now the question will it manage to produce a new higher high and then continue to rise if so price is likely to start moving up potentially to retest this resistance area and go much much higher another two points on this chart is that we had this downtrend trend lines in the past and after the break above the trend line we immediately had these rises these big moves and we already had another break and close on the daily chart above the trend line which is a bullish indication also we applied the fibs from this top to the bottom so that the 50 percent fibonacci retracement level is at the breakout point of the uptrend trend line this means that this distance from the top to the breakout point equals the distance from the breakout point to the support where we had a very clean bounce so this makes 592 satoshis level the bottom for this breakout calculation approach therefore we have a break above the trend line we have a bounce of this support we have the rejection of the previously made support and we have the rejection of a minor support these are all bullish indications for the bzrx against the bitcoin 
but on the other hand if there will be daily break and close below 592 satoshis the long-term downtrend might continue and in fact this could be one two three four five wave move to the downside and it will validate the downtrend upon the break below this support but at this moment it just looks that it could have been a simple a b c corrective pattern rather than one two three four five wave to the downside which is obviously not confirmed yet but upon the break above this resistance the probability of retesting the 2000 satoshis areas will become extremely high and only upon the break above 2120 satoshis area we can expect a very strong growth by the bzrx against the bitcoin and that was all for today ladies and gentlemen don't forget to take it easy and smooth and see you next time